Hi, I'm Josie and I work at Riding Warehouse. Today we wanted to talk a little bit about setting up some simple pole work exercises that can benefit horses and riders of all disciplines and experience levels. Ground poles are helpful to practice important basics like rhythm, impulsion, straightness, and balance. Whether you are performing these exercises at the walk, trot, or canter, you should focus on the quality of your horse's gait as he navigates the poles. The goal is to improve your horse's strength as well as your own for all of the other work you do together. With that, let's get started. If your horse hasn't seen ground poles before, we would recommend starting with one single pole on the ground. Once your horse is comfortable with that, add another pole several strides away. When walking out the distance between poles, it is really helpful to know what a one meter step looks like for you. This is what we usually assume the average horse's trot step equates to. In other words, if you take 10 steps between the first and the second pole, your horse will also need to take 10 strides. If you're working at the walk, his strides will be a little shorter than one meter, so you'll need to take shorter steps. When you find it easy to go over two poles several strides apart, you can move on to several poles in a row. To walk through the poles, you'll want them about two to two and a half boot lengths apart. To trot through the poles, you'll want them about three to three and a half. If you find that the poles are too close or too far apart, don't be afraid to make an adjustment. When you're starting out, you don't want your horse to strain to get across the poles. Once he becomes comfortable with these exercises, you can adjust the poles to ask for a collected or lengthened trot step. To ask your horse for a shorter, more collected stride, you'll want to decrease the distance between the poles. To ask for a longer, lengthened stride, you'll want to increase that distance. Next, you can work on cantering or loping over poles. Once again, you'll want to start with a single pole on the ground. When that isn't a big deal, you can move to two poles several strides apart. We usually assume that the average horse's working canter stride is about 12 feet long. If we know that one of our steps is about one meter or a little over three feet long, then we can conclude that four of our steps equals one stride for our horse. This is extremely important to keep in mind whether you're setting up ground poles like we are today or walking a course. You also need to consider the distance your horse needs for takeoff and landing from the poles. For ground poles, we usually give the horse about one human step for takeoff and landing. I know this is all a little confusing, so let me show you how I walk canter distances. First, I'm gonna start with the backs of my heels touching the first pole. I'm gonna take one big step and call that the distance my horse needs for landing. Next, we're gonna walk out our first canter stride. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four steps. Let's give our horse another stride before the next pull. That's gonna be another one, two, three, four steps. Finally, I'll take one last step to account for the distance my horse needs to take off. I just showed you how to set poles for two canter or lope strides, but you can put as many strides in between the two poles as you'd like. For each additional stride, just remember there'll be about four human steps. Like I said for the trot, you might have to adjust this distance slightly depending on the size of your horse and the size of his stride. Once you've mastered the basics, you can move on to several canter strides in a row. When we're setting up this exercise, we'll want about three steps between each pole. For this exercise and any of the other exercises I've shown you today, you're welcome to raise the poles to make cavaletti once you feel confident to do so. Remember to concentrate on keeping your horse forward, straight, and balanced as you ride over these poles. If you find that you're running into a problem any time during any of these exercises, just stop and take a minute to think about what's happening and how you can fix it. Be sure to consult your trainer with any questions that might arise. Thank you for watching this video. Happy riding from all of us at Riding Warehouse.